This Arabic woman, content creator, basically tries to recolonize all of the Arab world, quote unquote, all of the places of the Arabs, the Arab empire took over in antiquity and in recent history and basically tries to erase all the indigenous cultures by saying they're all just gener genetically Arabs. On the map you can see there's Somalia. Now I know some Somali people think they're Arabs, but they're <laughs> Somali people that are clearly non-Arabs. And um, Western Sudan, which consists mainly of Central African looking folk, sure as hell don't think they're Arabs, but she immediately gets schooled by a Caucasian. Now watch this and see for yourself. Why do current Egyptians speak Arabic? Well, that's because they're Arab. Now, according to Arab etymology, there are three types of Arabs. Arab al-Aribe, Arab Musta'aribe, Arab Ba'ide. Arab Aribe are the original Arab tribes, Bedouins. Bedouins were Arab tribes that were dotted around the Middle East. Bedouins lived everywhere throughout the Arab world. They were dotted around the Middle East and they were constantly traveling. They were nomadic tribes who constantly traveled and they didn't have a specific location, but they were Arab. Now we have Arab Mustaribe. Arab Mustaribe are genetically Arab, but they didn't speak Arabic until the Arabic language spread and then they became Arab. They are genetically Arab because they all came from the same place. They are descendants of the Natufians, the Canaanites, the Phoenicians. The Natufians, Canaanites and Phoenicians all came from this area and then they began to travel and migrate into other areas around the Middle East. Genetically, they are all Arab, but they weren't speaking Arabic. This is what ancient Egyptians sounded like. Ancient Egyptian sounded very close to Arabic. Because ancient Egyptians genetically were Arab, their genetic makeup is almost identical to Yemenis, Saudis, Emiratis, Jordanians, because they came from the Natufians. As you can see, throughout history, migration from the Middle East has been taking place into Egypt and North Africa. Then the Egyptians learned Arabic and then they became Arab. They are Arab Mustaribe. The last type of Arab is the Arab Ba'ide. These are Arab tribes that were killed. They were original Arab tribes that no longer exist. Al Lut was the Arab Ba'ide, Thamud, and Ad. These were all Arab Ba'ide. They're all killed. They don't exist anymore. These were the people that built uh, the Petra. So, in essence, Egyptians are Arab. They are Arab Mustaribe, people who are genetically Arab, coming from the same ancestors as Natufians, Phoenicians, Canaanites, but they didn't speak Arabic at the time. They learned Arabic as the Arabic language spread. Complete garbage. But don't let me tell you, let this guy tell you. This is such a historical revision, like pure propaganda. I just can't not respond. So she claims that North Africans are Arab essentially because of Phoenician migration to North Africa and that the Phoenicians are genetically Arab, but just didn't learn Arabic yet. No, Phoenicians are actually closer related to Anatolians or modern day Turks, also closely related to Greeks as well as Caucasians and the Caucasus, so like Armenians and Georgians. In other words, Phoenician ancestry, as well as Assyrian, Mesopotamian, and Iranian, is more Indo-European Indo ancestry. She also says that the Coptic language is like maybe a proto-Arab language, but Coptic is an Afro-Asiatic language, and so is Arabic. But these are very distant branches and share no more in common than Coptic shares with any other Afro-Asiatic language. She also made another video calling the the Berbers or correctly called the Amazigh, saying that they're Arabs. Now these are the indigenous people of like Morocco and Algeria who share no unique genetic relationship with Arabs, nor do they share any linguistic relationship before Arab conquest. But again, she says these are Arab countries 
basically just because like Phoenicians settled in these areas, but the Phoenician genetic footprint isn't actually that big and the Phoenicians didn't like replace the Amazigh people. It's so confusing because she says that like in defense of Egypt not speaking Coptic anymore, that like they like came home to speaking Arabic. No, they speak Arabic because of Arab conquests in the seventh century. That is why Coptic is pretty much a dead language because of colonialism colonization they were conquered they're stripped of their language stripped of a good portion of their culture the people who are ethnically of arab origin this is like syrian de desert and south like the arabian peninsula those are ethnically arab people there's lots to be proud of it i mean the arab empire had an aspect of greatness to it i mean they advanced algebra science like it was an empire look, to look back on just, you know, like the Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, or the Ottoman Empire. But it's like, should everybody that was conquered by the Romans say that they're Roman? If so, I'm Roman. Like, if that's the standard, then, you know, I'm Roman too. Because my distant ancestors were conquered by them um, and stopped speaking their indigenous language and began speaking a Latin language.